Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to look at how LEDs and switches are connected in the EDSIM 51 simulator. Now this is useful when it comes to programming with the EDSIM 51. Right, here's the circuit diagram or logic diagram of the EDSIM 51. And uh, we're going to concentrate on this part of the circuit. All right, this part, and I'm going to extract this part of the circuit out. So what I've done here is I have removed the other parts of the circuit so that we can examine the LED connections or interface to port one. Notice I'm going to extract this part of the circuit diagram. All right. And I'm going to turn it around. Now, let's look at this circuit. Now, this is the LED. And if you're not familiar with LEDs, this part here is known as this is known as the positive side of the LED. Uh, the technical term for it is anode. And the other side, this side here, the negative part is known as the cathode. Now the anode is connected to the plus volts of, of the positive side of the supply volts via a resistor. And the cathode is connected to the port pin, in this case, P1.7. Now if we were to put a logic zero, it means approximately zero volts here, and because this part here is more positive than this part, a current will flow. And when, when the current flow through this circuit, the LED will light up. Now, what I've done here is basically I've repeated the circuit. And what I want to do is to redraw this the part of the diagram like this and I'm going to put some binary p signals here so this will be one zero one zero zero one 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 now in the EDSIM 51 uh, coding you would need to translate this into its hexa so that would be five and this is would be E Remember, each hex digit needs four bits. So this would be E and this would be five. Now, with this binary pattern, only this P1.4 and P1.3 and P1.1 will light up because it's zero volts here. So these three LEDs will light up. Hi, uh, okay, we are back in the EDSIM 51. Um, so let me just zoom in. I'm using the same program that I've used in my previous uh, video. So here, uh, as a reminder, this is the beginning of the program. It's starting at 00H, uh, hexa. And this instruction here basically will copy this value E5H into register a or, or the accumulator. I'll explain this leading zero uh, in a few moments. And then in the second uh, instruction that will copy the contents of uh, register A to port 1, P1. And finally it will end. Right. Um, let us just assemble and run this program. Let me just zoom out. Right. Okay. And assemble it and then run it and you see here the result on the LEDs right now um, this one here remember the white is off that's because uh, if we go back to E 
the binary of uh, if you convert e hexa to binary that will be uh, 1 1 1 uh, remember from uh, from the schematic or the logic diagram uh, 1 means the uh, LED will be turned off and here uh, is a 0 because E is actually 1 1 1 0 so this LED will be on all right so and the next four bits which represent uh, 5 hexa this is uh, uh, 0 1 0 1 all right so that's uh, far uh, the effect of sending a 5 to the LEDs right so we've seen how the program works um, let me just pause this video right okay um i'd like to explain this leading zero let me just uh, zoom in now if you have a hexa value that begins with a alphabet uh, in this case it's an e you need to add a leading zero all right that's that's the kind of rule uh, that we have so anything that begins with with an alphabet you need to put a leading zero now what happens if we do not include the leading zero okay let me zoom out pause the video reset it and let me just take this zero out and watch this whole line of instruction it turns red now that already indicates there's something wrong but let me just assemble it and see what happens. It says that it's an unknown uh, label. Let me zoom in. It says unknown label E5H. That means it doesn't recognize EH. That is because the leading zero is missing. So let me zoom out. Uh, okay. Let me put the leading zero back in and watch the color. It goes back to blue and black indicating it should be fine. But let's just assemble it to make sure no errors. All right. This time there is no errors. Now if you have any other uh, let me just reset if you have any other hexa value that, be, that doesn't begin with any alphabet you can ignore the leading zero so let me just show you this put this time i'm going to use five five hexa uh, assemble it there's no issue here because uh, it hasn't turned red but let us assemble it no errors and uh, let's run it okay so you get the uh, results on the led now i suggest you will uh, you play around this value uh, and and see the effects okay so here we are again with the uh, logic diagram of the edsim 51 but this time i like to focus on the port 2 and let me next extract this part of the circuit out. and here we are and I've removed the rest of the logic diagram and I would like to redraw this part here like this and also I have included port 1 with the LED interface but let's go back to this uh, resistor and switch interface. So let's look at P2.0, which is port 2, bit 0. This point here is connected to one end of a resistor. And the other end is connected to the positive side of plus volt 
of the supply and this point here is also connected to an open switch with this particular arrangement then this pin here is at logic 1 because it's plus volts and this will be the same for all the pins because all the switches are at the open position so they are all at logic 1 so we, if we pass this logic 1 to port 1 and if we take a look at this particular pin here that voltage here and this voltage here is the same which means they are the same potential no current will flow so if there are logic 1 no current will flow through any of the diodes like uh, LEDs so they remain in the off position okay so what happens if we close all the switches which means this point here is now connected to ground ground is zero volts so each of this pin will be at zero volts which is logic zero and like before if we pass this logic zero to port one now the scenario here has changed this is more this point here is more positive than this point because this is logic zero which is zero volts so this time a current will flow through the circuit and the LED will be switched on and this will be the same this will be true for all the other bits because they are all at logic zero so all the LEDs will be switched on okay hi uh, we're back in the EDSIM 51 uh, just let me zoom in here right let's look at this program basically it's the same program that I've used in my previous video uh, basically what this uh, do is does is to uh, copy the contents of P2 uh, that's where the switches are and copy the contents of it to port 1 and that's where the LEDs are connected and here it will just go back to this point and keep doing keep looking at the uh, switches and display it on the LED all right so let me zoom out assemble the program uh, no errors so we run it okay not, nothing seems to be happening but let's take a look at the LEDs here and the switches all right okay so um, these switches now represent an open, uh, open switch. All right, so now let me close uh, switch zero. And the LED comes on. Basically, uh, when you close the switch, you're sending a zero to the LED, to the LED interface. And the uh, corresponding LED will be turned on. Notice when the switch is in a closed position, it turns gray. Let's try switch two. Okay, the green LED comes on. Let's try four. Yellow LED comes on. And six. And a red LED get turned on. Turn on. Right, okay. I suggest you play around with these switches and LEDs for a little while. Get yourself familiar with how this uh, interface actually works okay that's it um i'll see you in the next video thank you for watching uh bye